four people have yet to catch up on season three of FBI Most Wanted, then you may want to refrain from seeing this video as it does have a lot of spoilers from the newer episodes. We will be talking about the unfortunate fate of the spin-off series lead, Supervisory Special Agent Jess LaCrosse, played by the actor Julian McMahon. Fans who are up to date with the new episodes know that the character met a tragic fate, so does this mean that Julian is leaving FBI Most Wanted? The answer is probably yes, but why? Find that out here. Season 3 has already been hard on fans as they recently had a bid farewell to Kathleen Monroe, whose character Reed and Trenholm was killed off earlier in the season. Thus, another character's exit was the least of what was in their mind, let alone the departure of the show's lead. Variety confirmed in January 2022 that Julian McMahon was leaving the show, also revealing the cause for it to be in favor of additional creative pursuits. I'm extremely proud of the work we have done together and put the development of the show, my character Jess, at the top of my professional experience list. He had further told the outlet, I am grateful to have had the opportunity to play Jess. He is a good man. The producers explored every potential option before ultimately making the decision to kill him off in the series. Jess passes away in heartbreakingly emotional way after being shot in the neck. He wanted Lee to go on to other creative pursuits. That's what he wanted to do and we honor that, said David Hudgens to TV Line. So what were the other projects that Julian had focused on to leave such a pivotal role in the CBS series, you may ask? We are not sure yet, but his IMDb account shows only one upcoming project, which is a period film called Justice and a Smoking Gun. So the film has only been announced for now, and we only know new character's name in the film, which is Thomas Brennan. So Julian's fans will be excited about his new project, but the fans of FBI Most Wanted will not be as delighted as it does seem like this will be the end of Julian's run in the show. There still is at least one good news for the fans FBI's fugitive department will not go on along without a leader. In fact, both Julian and Jules' replacement has already been made and will debut soon, but the rest of the FBI agents will have to do on, on their own struggle for a few weeks and episodes. As David also said, we'll have a couple of episodes where we'll see the team trying to find their way without a leader. Meanwhile, the one filling the vacant leadership role would be American Horror Stories actor Dylan McDermott playing the role of the new supervisory special agent Remy Scott. We spent a lot of time in the room drafting what the character could look like. The showrunner added a TV line about the replacement. When we got word that Dylan was available and then potentially interested, we were thrilled. We were through the roof. McDermott also played the recurring cast member Richard Wheatley in the Law & Order Organized Crime, which is from the universe in the FBI franchise. He will be making his character debut in the April 12th, 17th episode titled Covenant, so make sure you do not miss it.